Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Sunday Streaming right here on Rage Select. I'm Jeff, and that's it. That's all you get in today. Yep, I made all my co-hosts come over and record 1 million hours of E3 content over the last week. Uh, also, it is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the chat. Or call your father and to say Happy Father's Day to you, to, to Daddy-o. Probably should have played um, God of War now that I think about it. So we got out of that. Boy, boy. Um, but no, we are playing Forza Horizon 4, and there's a good reason for that. If you don't already know, I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you. Uh, well, okay, never mind. The game spoiled the surprise for you. There's all this Lego stuff that's now in uh, Forza Horizon 4, and it's supposed to be really fun. It's a $15 DLC. Like, I got the game for Game Pass, and I think when we put up our, our first E3 podcast later today, you're going to hear me saying, like, oh, that Lego thing, it's free. I might as well check it out. It's not free. It's fifteen dollars. The Game Pass gets you the default, uh, but you still got to pay for DLC. Um, but you know, there was just something about it. Like I'm usually not the biggest fan of the Lego games. I'm usually not a big fan of racing games. But there's something about like an open world Lego racing game, and apparently you got to like get pieces to build a house, and all the little people are Lego. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's that fucking everything is awesome song. They played that in that trailer. Everything is awesome, just like it pumps me up every single time, uh, every time I hear that song. And so I'm like, yes, everything is awesome. I want to play a Lego game as opposed to, um, like at E3 this year, they denounced the whole Star Wars Lego full Skywalker collection. And I'm like, eh. But they didn't put everything is awesome in the trailer. So... Uh, I had to go back and play the game up to like level five or something uh, because you can't apparently jump right in um, to the le this Lego thing. So you got to come out hey, here. Just letting you know, the Sounds like the audio. Can you tell me if you guys can hear the right. audio? Um, and then we go up here. And apparently there's also uh, there's this Fortune Island. I think there was a Fortnite thing that happened. That was a, a thing. I swear to God, I saw there was like a Fortnite DLC where you're racing in Fortnite. I, I, I'm i sure I didn't. I'm sure I didn't uh, make that up. Wait a minute. Can I not go in here? Keep racing until you reach the Horizon Festival in Lego Valley to unlock it. Oh, travel to Lego Valley? Keep racing until you reach the Horizon Festival in Lego Valley to unlock it. Oh, guys, don't do this to me. Uh, come on, I played this game for a while. I thought that I was going to... You said that I could go and do it. Shit. Um, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see if we can find Lego Valley. Do we have to travel to Lego Valley? <laughs> uh, can, I, can I move? Where's Lego Valley? I feel like I'm trapped. City outskirts cross country. Can I zoom out here? Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Lego Speed Champions. Travel to the Lego Valley. All right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so... <sighs> Desmond F says classic Jeff. Like, yeah, well, that's true. I just I kind of wanted to like start the stream by starting the game instead of just already having been in it. Uh... <laughs> PS2 books. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I had it on the um, uh, the Costco station. So, it's a very welcome back everybody to Lego Speed Champions here in Forza Horizon Four. I'm your host, uh, Jeff. Wait, this isn't Lego. This is shipping containers. Travel to Lego Speed Champions. I thought I just said travel to Lego Valley. <laughs> I hate everyone so shut up, says Jeff the Dutch Vanderland of Rage Delight. I got a plan, chat. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Give me some Lego. I know there's some Lego in here. I paid for Lego. I paid, I paid $15 for Lego. Hey, oh. it's Jay. 
Everything's ready. Oh, Jake. We're about to head to Lego Valley. Yeah! Kira even said We're going to Lego Valley. Champion sets for the drive. I need to turn on some now, subtitles. I know half the fun is building them, and I was going to wait for you, but... Okay. Uh, oh, look at these Lego cars! All right. The McLaren Lego car. That seems a little... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's, they, it's like they put all the super detail that they put into Forza into these Legos that are making up this car. I can see all the, I can see all the 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 tiny marks from where my thumbnail scratched the Lego. I can see the the congealed grease from that time that I was eating a sandwich and playing with my Legos at the same time. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson, it's funny that you would say that. Uh, uh, he says, this is thoughts for your thoughts. This is Jeff filling in for John, who's filling in for Amanda, who's busy axe-kicking assholes. I just kind of started putting on Parks and Recreation in the background while I've been playing um, other other games. I'm playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIII, too. A lot of Final Fantasy XIII, too, you guys. Um, I'm, I got some thoughts about that game. I don't know... What it was? No, I do know what it was. I wanted to go back to like the last Square game that I really enjoyed, and when I thought about it, I thought that might be the one, and so I I did, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Yes. Finally, it only Here's took what, what I see. ten minutes. I see a world made oh. of bricks. Oh, look at all! No, no, listen, that's a whole bricky brick world. And, and pirate ships and ghosts, I guess. Yeah, ghosts. Nice. The city and cars, just as fast as the real thing. Nice. We'll call it Lego Valley. You in? Apparently, Lego Speed Champions is like a separate brand of Legos. It's like a subset of Legos. All right. Yeah. We get to Lord of Mordor. Ask me that later. I, I want to kind of pay attention. Oh shit! Am I am I going to be playing? Right. Oh. Time to show everyone yep. What speed champion looks like. Thomas Forza's back, baby. He's a Lego now. Ah, what's up? <laughs> oh my God, that was such a Welcome far jump. Is that McLaren? Oh shit! What's going on with those guys? Whoa, 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 whoa! That they totally distracted me. I was too busy looking at whatever that spinning goddamn UFO was to turn properly. In my shit hot fast McLaren over here. Oh, oh my god, it's so fast, you guys. It's so fast. I don't really know how to race. Oh boy, what happened there? It crashed? Did somebody just throw that thing? You're gonna see me using the rewind a lot this week. Uh alright, alright, come on, go. Uh oh 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 oh. Off the track. Oh wait, I'm not actually racing, am I? Uh Horizon is unable to confirm or deny whoop, the presence whoop, of unidentified whoop. flying Lego object. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, here we go. I like all the little the little bricks. I like the way that they've kind of changed all the particle effects to the little Lego bricks. Nice. Get out of here, red car. Better than you. You know it. Thomas Forza is on a mission. Wait, should we have a new Forza? family member because it's a Lego game. Oh, oh. Dinosaur, bones. dinosaur bones. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Don't know how to drive. I don't, I swear I don't drive like this in real life. I'm also trying to look at the chat room. Wee! It's the airport. Boom. I just passed everybody. Wow. This is really cool looking. Ah, shit! Lego cows! Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's try to turn to the right, you guys. I don't know how well that's going to work. Dwayne the Rock Johnson says, nah, it's just that Thomas Forza is high out of it. Okay. It's high as hell. It's high as, uh, high as fuck. Uh, 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 blasted. It's been huffing a lot of barbecue sauce. Now he's just hallucinating that everything is Legos. Oh, man, why is everything Legos? Oh, shit, this is weird. Uh, fuck it. I was born to race. I'll race anyway. Wee! Oh, shit, now I'm a little Cooper Mini thing. The Lego Speed Champions mini. Oh. Not so many okay. Get out here. Get out here. Oh. I like this. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> well, that's not the track, but... Oh, look, it's the pirate ships. Oh, pirate Legos. I wanted them so bad when I was a kid. Wow, I like this. Not enough to probably keep playing Forza, but... Ah! Soccer. Or football. Wee! Suck it, other Cooper Mini. Oh, shit. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, there's the road. Oh, I swear to God, I just heard the Mario jump noise. Welcome to Brickchester. Population, a whole lot of bricks and minifigures. And you. Oh, wow. Okay. By the way, anybody that's watching this that is uh, criticizing my driving, I am 100% in agreement with you. I am not a good... I'm not really a very good driver in real life. That's why I just drive real slow <coughs> in the right-hand lane. And I don't go that many places because I work from home. But, like... I used to, there was a one, there was one summer when Grant, the first Gran Turismo came out when I made an effort to like, oh no, it's Boogie Ghosts, to get, like, kind of learn how to, to play racing games, because uh, when Gran Turismo came out, it was just like the best looking game anybody had ever seen, it was the best game I'd ever seen, um, but then outside of that, uh, you know, we play a lot of these racing games that come out, and I like Wipeout, but... Wee! We did it! Yay! All the Lego guys! All right. Uh-oh. Why was that one guy the wrong way? Oh, dude, I want to ride a roller coaster. Yay! The song! Pretty sweet, huh? We put you up with a new house. Well, kind of. But we saved you the best spot in the festival. Oh, this is what you got to do. You got to build this house up. Noise, noise. Daniel Johnson says, "Has there been a decent burnout successor yet? Not as far as I could tell. Like, there's that crash zone or whatever hey, that Jeff. one company is." Here it is, Kira. I don't remember telling you my name. Now, Lego needs a speed champion, and the festival needs master builders. <laughs> Can I turn and on you, subtitles? You need a place to live. This is the base plate where you'll be building your very own master builder's house. Cool. It seems weird that this didn't come out at the same time as, like, Lego um, Get in the Car, as Lego, um, the Lego Movie 2. It seems like a total tie into the Lego Movie 2 with, like, building a house. I don't know. <coughs> Yay, we did it. We did it. We got into the Legos, you guys. Oh. First things first. What? You need bricks. What? Lots of bricks. You can get them by completing brick challenges. Think of it like a big box of Lego to play with. Okay. The question is, which one will it be first? Um, okay, complete, perform three ultimate air skills in the Lego Mini Cooper within one minute. Complete the Brickchester Trail Rally. Trail Rally, Trail Rally, Lego Festival Spirit Event. So you got to unlock. God, look at all these. Look at all these guys. Look at you. Look at these. Look at them. Look, look, look at all these Legos. Just so many Legos. Collect another 200 bricks to start building your house. Okay. Um, what should we do? Dinosaur graveyard? Find the city center? Find the football arena? Find the oasis? What are what are these ones? Little brick worth or one star of the speed zone. Speed zone. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do... I'm just going to do these like... First brick challenge set. Let's do this. Like, just let's just drive around. Let's just drive around and take a look at Bricksville. <coughs> um, here, I gotta see if there's a. Your car. Is there a um, an option to turn on subtitles? I really would like that. Ooh, this game does not like playing on an original Xbox. Um, none of this seems like options menu. Our what about dashboard. this one. Uh, uh, activity panel. Okay. How the hell do you turn on subtitles, Forza? Goddamn. Also, why does it take like a million years to get into your... Oh, there we go. Settings. Oh, that's why you think. I'm changing my name. Changing my name from Jeff to Thomas. I don't know why this game keeps calling me Jeff. It needs to be calling me Thomas. Tom, 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 Come on, where are you? Tiffany, Theo, Theodore. Thomas. 
Yes. And subtitles, subtitles, subtitles. Streamer mode? What does that mean? In-game live music. Streaming from a hospital music radio station? I don't want to do that. Uh, video? Subtitles! God damn. All right. All right, let's do this. Okay, so um, find the city center in the middle of Brickchester. Is that what the big question mark is? That doesn't. I should have mentioned things are a little different this time round. There's a whole valley full of events and stunts already set up for you to discover. You just gotta go find them. Okay, let's do let's do events. Um. <clears throat> Oh, solo co-op PvP. Let's do co-op. Let's take a look at Horizon Blueprint. Oh my God! This is something I let our old festival boss play around with. Oh my God! It's a lot of things. So I need to see if we have any fresh blueprinting talent. No, I don't want to do that. I would like to just go play uh, the video game. Um, Let's see. I had everyone's show up says, what are your thoughts on Final Fantasy XIII 2? Uh, I've, I've actually played Final Fantasy XIII 2 before, uh, and I kind of just want to see if it, like, held up. Uh, I think it holds up really, really, really well. I really like that game. Like, I think it solves just about every single problem from Final Fantasy XIII, and I think it's a real solid, uh, real solid video game. So, I don't know. Uh, we might be seeing a thing. Oh, skill point. You can use your skill point here. To oh. unlock car oh. masteries. Oh, okay. Every car has its own set. Okay. Offering unique perks and bonuses. Right on. But skill points can be spent on any car you own. It's right on. Cool. It's collector's item. Do it. You get 5,000 car collection influence. Okay. I would like to just, like, do a, do a race. Wait. Wheel spin. Is that like a, a thing I can do in the air? Here's the mainland. What's what's this big mainland thing? Okay, um, let's go over to this question mark. Let's go to this, this question mark over here and see what happens. Um, I had everyone so shut up. Says the bad thing is you have to get through 13 to play 13 2. I don't believe that's the case. I don't think you have to actually get through 13 to play 13 2. Um, solo. Yeah, presets. Okay. Uh, oh, there's my lady from the main game. Okay, Josie said, Jeff, I'm here. I'm also about to make some Thai green curry sauce. That sounds good. <laughs> true Bogley says, I'm disappointed, Jeff. You're racing cars, and you haven't once met mentioned family. That's true. I'm also not drinking any Corona. And my head needs a fresh shave. So, like... Three for three, just fail. Just fail. Uh, let's see. Start the race event. Sorry. Hey, Alex. I'm trying to just concentrate on all these different things at the same time. All right, here we go. Let's get in the race. Leon Kennedy and the Big Bad Timber and the Grim Reaper. And this is the wrong car, I feel like, to be racing with. Uh, okay, fuck you guys. I don't slow down to go through turns. That's what your mom does. She's always in last place. <laughs> That's not true. Your mom is a very nice lady. Good lord. This is a really weird... Uh, <laughs> all this Lego stuff. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Oh, shit. What? You hit that very deftly. Okay. Going over Sir Cheese Waffle here. Come for you, Will Allers, Will Allergy, and the illegal Swede. Illegal Swede! Arr. Sorry, guys. I, it's really hard for me to like look at the chat and play this game at the same time. So I might, I might get a little bit up my own. Oh, Jesus! Come on, get out, get out of here. Uh, 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 my own butt trying to actually finish races. Oh shit! Okay, all right. Reep. Let's do a little break in here. Oh, look, I got a, a challenge. I unlocked some bricks. I'm master building in no time. I'm a great master builder. 
You know, that, that sounds really close to something else when you say it quickly. Master Builder. You guys, you guys get where I'm going with that? Somebody's probably... I feel like the entire internet's probably already made that joke. Oh! How many... Do we have laps here? How many laps? Oh, three laps. Okay. It's all right. Let's be able to get around illegal speed briefly. Ugh. No idea how to drive cars. Or I know how to drive a car. I just don't know how to race cars. Wee-hoo! Night Rider! This is my turbo boost. Uh... Uh, wait, which way was the checkpoint? Wait, did I... What was the other half of that checkpoint? Okay, fine. Did I get it? Was that cool? All right. Nope. Okay, it was not. It was not cool. It's not cool. Lord of Mordor says, Racing is easy, Jeff. You just have to drive faster than everybody else. Oh, I see where... I see the other side of it now. Totally on the wrong side. Uh, that's true. But then, like, these types of racing games, it's less about missiles and how big your engines are, and you have to, like stay on this little blue line and then you gotta like slow down to go through curves because they want you to just turn left 90 degrees at 600 miles per hour ugh I'm like a nerd what am I a nerd I want to turn left at 600 miles per hour like a real man <laughs> oh no illegal swing when you're not even here I've got to race your drive -tar. get out of here get that drive -tar out of here oh no here's somebody else oh shit whoop Okay, here we go. All right. And back again. All right, got a little flustered. God damn it, you guys. I was in first place. And now I'm in third, second place. Third seconds. It's like second breakfast, but for racing. Uh, Crow 220. Your, mi your mind. Oh, shit. Messed that one up. <laughs> Ben R. Johnson asks, is this pod racing? I don't believe this is pod racing. I'll try spinning, though. That helps. That works. Oh, boy. Damn it, Crow. Oh. I really appreciate the fact this game knows that I'm going to be a horrible fuckstick at it. And it's like, just rewind, buddy. You do you, buddy. Here we go. Pro here is going to slow down like a jabroni. Or maybe not. I thought he was going to slow down like a jabroni. It's going to pass him. What? Passed in the air. You got passed in the air, Crow. I'm going to make you eat yourself. Pretty nice little, uh, this is a nice little track. I like this game. Let's turn through the thing. Starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Starting to remember my all my all the racing techniques that I was taught as a kid and kids karate. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. Which um, radio station has everything is awesome on it? Because that's the one I want to listen to. Is it Boss? Or is there like a Lego one? Oh shit. Nope. Too busy. Too busy fucking around. Uh, 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 shit. You do it. You do it. Uh, Lord of Mordor asked, did the graphics look worse on the original Xbox One? Uh, this is an original Xbox One. So, I don't, I don't know if I was misunderstanding your comment, because I'm just really briefly glancing at the chat, but, like, uh, this isn't my, this is, I'm literally using the day one, um, 2013 controller, yeah, first place, Thomas Forza cannot be stopped. Uh, do the graphics look worse on the original Xbox One than on the Xbox One X? Uh, I don't know. Given that all I've got is an Xbox One, so or uh, original Xbox One, I was hoping to get an Xbox One X. So. If you like what you see and you want me to play on Xbox One X, maybe maybe do some subscriptions. If you got Amazon Prime, you get some free subscriptions. You can subscribe to me on Twitch. Tip with some bits. Um, get me an Xbox. Get me an Xbox One X. I like Game Pass, but 
These old Xbox games kind of play like garbage on the... Or new Xbox games kind of play like garbage on the old Xbox. All right, we did it. Uh, we got the Super Mega Cross Country Challenge. What are these other things? What are these other question marks here? What is that? Speed Trap. Oh, is that... I'm supposed to go through it like as fast as I can? New PB! I don't know what that means. Wait, what's over here? It's just a thing in the middle of a field. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, is it a jump? Well, that was bad. <laughs> okay, we can we can do better than that. Uh, I think. Pretty sure we can do better than that. Uh, Ace Card says, can you build Lego cars? I do not believe you can actually build your own cars. Oh. Which one has... Yeah! Yeah, everything is awesome. <laughs> All right. Ooh yeah! Uh, I gotta find some more some more challenges so I can get these bricks. Get these. Oh oh yo oh, oh my bricks came off. Okay, I tell you what. Uh, somebody asked Alice has about new cars. Change car. Um, I don't want to. No, those are the cars that I got from the game. Dodge, Ford. Uh, these are just like. Deliver a car. We need to like get new cars. But my house. Oh, okay. I still have to get 125 bricks in order to start building my house. So we got to do some challenges. I swear to God, there was a um, there was a menu that said car songs um, or uh, buy new cars. God damn it! All right, fine. Fuck you. Um, Let's go over here and check out whatever this question mark is. What? Uh, Ace of card. I mean, you know, I feel like uh, it says that that's kind of the point, of, or that isn't that the point of Lego that you can kind of just build whatever the hell you want to. And I definitely take your point. Um, I think that it would probably be a little bit difficult to do in like a racing game because if you just let everybody build whatever they wanted to. I don't know. I like. I is the Forza engine even capable of doing that? I don't know. This was a fifteen dollar DLC that came out at E three this year. I'm cool with just you know, be bopping around and listening to Tegan and Sarah and Lonely Island and uh, going through fields of Lego flowers. I'm cool. Uh, I do though need to figure out where to get more cars. We do this one. Oh. Come on, where is it? The, br the Brickchester tr Tour Cross Country Tour Event. Dwayne the Rock Johnson said he snagged Dying Light for $10 on the PS4. He's surprised how much he's enjoying it. Uh, I think that Dying Light is... Oh, wait, can I buy a car? Buy a car! There we go, there it is. How much money do I have? Um, wait, are these... Where are the Lego cars? Are these Lego cars? Uh, these look like regular cars. The fuck are... What? I don't want to do that. No. Fuck that. I'm going to keep playing the Lego car. <laughs> Dr. Von Buggy, I don't understand the joke that you're trying to make. Boom, 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 boom. I'm kind of surprised, sir. Is there a Lego kart racing game? Has there ever been? Does this... <laughs> Does this radio station just play Everything is Awesome on a loop? Because <laughs> I could listen to it at least two more times. <laughs> um, yeah, Dying Light is great. Dying Light is great doing The Rock Johnson. I uh, I really like it. Uh, I, did, I thought the expansion was good. All right, the Brickchester Tour cross. Wait. Are those non-Lego cars? Oh. Well, what? Why you guys gotta be not racing Lego cars in this Lego racing part? They just probably don't have enough 
cars to really flesh out the whole thing. Well, I got to get a different car because apparently this one. Uh oh, the things fell off my roof. Wah. I like it when uh, people's drive avatars are really aggressive because it indicates to me that they drive like assholes so I can make a personal judgment about them. Uh, yeah, what's up? What's up, guys? I'm not going as fast. That means I can turn. Ha, <laughs> uh, Lord of Mordor asks if there's more than one Lego car. I, God damn it. I'm looking at Twitch chat. Uh, I would have to assume so because there were at least three in the beginning. Um... Uh, illegal Swede! He's got to be up there being a dick -a rooney What's up? What's up? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. That was, that was the wrong thing to do. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Ha-ha. Now I'm number one because I don't like to break. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh. We Lego Red Dead Two. That'd be kind of fun. Uh oh, in the water. Everything is on. Oh fuck! Oh, that was that was just that was really not the way to go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh ah uh, ah! Uh. It's like that one part of Terminator. <clears throat> Road Roamer. Whee! So I guess this particular race was not um, was not just for Lego cars, so I could have brought a regular car in. It's all right. I'm, I'm cool. I mean, I'm not cool, but, like, I don't need your non-Lego cars in your Lego expansion. Oh, uh, come on, you guys. Come on. I was totally winning. Don't make me run you off the road. Oh, shit. That's too fast. Oh, boy. Do I have a Rock Johnson says that I should also play the catchy song on here. This song's going to get stuck inside your head. head. I also kind of want the sad version of Everything is Awesome. Everything's not awesome. Everything's not awesome. Oh, no. Come on. Damn it. I was doing so well. Hey, that's my house. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. That's why maybe we'll keep listening to this and see if there's more. I feel like every time we go over one of those big jumps, everybody always passes me. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Do a little bit more drifting. There we go. A little bit less going through fences. Oh, shit. Wow, that was a lot of speed loss for no real gain. Except for my clean racing bonus. Gotta keep this car on the ground. Uh-oh. How many? Wee! Oh, God, here they come to pass me. Because they're super good at jumping. And they put some work into this. Who's the best at racing? There we go. Boom. Ah. Lego Rage Slack, says Johnny Scard. Yep. True. Look at you guys with your non Lego cars. That's why you lost. You raced in a Lego car. That's how you win. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Here we go. I need more than bricks. I need them bricks, man. Jeep Trail Cat. Wait, is that like a regular cars? Whoa, whoa. Uh, there's so much in this game. There's so many things in this game. Yeah, give me money. Noise. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I, I have a feeling that when I render this out, this is going to get demonetized on YouTube because... It's just playing this copyrighted song over and over again. Oh, new car. Change car? Uh, wait, is was that a Lego car? No. See, that's just like some kind of weird Jeep. I want to stick with Lego cars, y'all. 
Um, let's see here. We just got to go check out some of these. Uh, wait, what is this? Super Mega Adventure Stunt Park. What is that? Oh, Influence Board. Oh, that's where we are. We're in the Super Mega Stunt Park. So what we got here? This is like Brick Chester Trail Rally. The Festival. Let's go to the Festival Beauty Spot. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of being in this. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Sh shut up, GLaDOS. Uh, all right, one more round with every, everything is awesome, then we're going to change the radio station. Even though I, I could probably listen to this on repeat the entire time. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys do it because I feel like somebody's going to scratch their ears off. But then I like listening to the same song on repeat over and over again. Like when I find a really good song that's like I'm really into, I'll just put that shit on repeat. One time when I was drawing a long time ago for an art class, I put that song Bad Romance by Lady Gaga on on repeat for like seven hours while I drew the human skeleton four or five times. Um, it was great to just kind of, you just, just kind of let's do it on repeat. So, uh, beauty shot. There we go. What do I do here? View the beauty spot? Okay. I hate everyone, so shut up. I watched Black Mirror season five. Or whatever the new season was. Check it out. I swear, this is the first time Kira didn't have to chase me to help with the festival setup. Okay. I don't know who you are, buddy. You're the guy that made the festival over on the other side. It's it's very strange that my that lady that was like my drive guitar or whatever is like hanging out with a bunch of minifigs. Weird. Weird. Okay. So we found one spot. We also passed the the house that we're trying to build, like our ultimate goal. Or maybe it's our ultimate goal? Is this my house? Yeah. So what do I can I go go into the house? Can put any bricks? Are there any bricks that I can put here? Mm. Land Rover, it's Porsche. Okay, so, so this is just the house. This is just the house from your regular Forza. Uh, I thought season five of Black Mirror was okay. Uh. I think there's a lot of people who've been talking about how it's like the worst thing of all time. I don't know. Um, like, I didn't think there was a, one episode that was quite as good as, like, the Callister episode last season, which I thought was kind of the best one from that season. Um, but, you know, I mean, again, I come down to, like, man, it's free on Netflix. Uh, like, you just watch it. Stop watching it if you don't like it. So. Dad, remember, I did see that. Jessica Jones Season 3 came out. I don't know. Season 2 is a little meh to me. I love Season 1. Season 2 is... Uh... Bruce Bain says, how about that Avengers game? That's right. Somebody else asked me about that earlier. Um, as always, we're going to have the full, the full roster of uh, E3 2019 Catch-Up Podcast starting uh, right after the stream is over at 6 p.m. CST with uh, EA and Microsoft. Uh, but to put it, um, to kind of summarize, I've got to stop. i got to get off of this song. i got to stop playing this song. Um, start the race event. Uh, it, uh, I don't know. Like, I was interested in... <laughs> okay, you got to... You got to not play everything is awesome over and over again. Was that hospital radio they said was good for like uh, streaming? Um, uh, okay, so Avengers game, Avengers game. All right, here we go. Not End Game, but the Avengers video game that they announced at uh, Square uh, conference at E3 this year. Um, it seems a lot like a live service. I don't know that I knew that that's what that game was. Uh, the way that they talk about it makes it sound an awful lot like something like Anthem, which makes me nervous because I would rather have a, a single-player bespoke story 
I think that's one of the reasons that like Spider-Man was one of the best video game um, uh, superhero video games I've ever played was because it was a very bespoke story. Same with Batman, Arkham, uh, you know, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Um, so I'm a little bit worried that it's a live service model because what it sounds like is that it's like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but like online multiplayer, like more maybe um, fewer characters, but more like higher graphical fidelity. I don't know. It makes me real nervous a lot of the stuff that they're saying about like, yeah, well, we're going to be adding all these new heroes as time goes on. And it's like, well, if you can pull it off, that's great. Oop. But I, um, but I, uh, uh, it makes me nervous. I hate everyone so shut up says uh, that I liked Anthem and I did like Anthem, but I didn't love Anthem. Like when I said that I liked Anthem, I meant that I had like a decent time for eight hours. Like I, I feel like the internet doesn't, <laughs> Uh, and I'm not saying that about about you, but uh, that I thought Anthem was acceptable as a as a game that I played for eight hours. Um, it was definitely not the best game I've ever played, and I haven't gone back to it since then. But as far as like a shooter game with some, you know, what it kind of reminded me of like one of the older, um, uh, I don't know, something like uh, like the old Iron Man games or. Maybe something like Vanquish. Like, if it was $20, I think it totally would be worth it for what it was. Uh, but I don't want that for a superhero game. Like, there's a difference to me between the way that Anthem uh, came out and a superhero game, uh, mostly because superheroes tend to be less shoo shoo bang bang get a, um, get a, 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 a new purple weapon. You know, you're looking for loot. Like a loot-driven shooter looter? That's what they call it, right? I don't want my... Um, superhero story to be a shooter looter and I guess that's uh, what I feel like most of these online services are I don't know I again this is all just complete and total speculation so I have no idea what the game actually looks like uh, I have no idea whether it's going to be good or bad or something in between god damn yeah I just didn't slow down at all for that turn um But it makes me nervous. I'm not saying it's like writing it off now and saying it's going to be the worst game of 2020, but it makes me nervous because of the the, the buzzwords that they're using and kind of the intent. Oops. Uh, yeah, the intent that they have of what they're doing. So that's, um, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, you know... Um, Yeah, I, uh, is that how far I can go back? I was trying to see how far I could go back. Um, the, uh, so that's what I think about it. Like, I was, I was interested in it because I've been yelling and screaming and crying and bitching and moaning and whining and complaining for years about, like, put, give me some MCU video games because I think the MCU would be a perfect place for video games. However, I feel like this is a, a, a kind of an EA situation where, I feel like Square is trying to, instead of just making a really, really polished single-player game, um, they want to make some kind of multiplayer live service thing. And uh, while there's nothing wrong with those types of games, it's not the sort of thing... Um, I don't think it's a... I think that the thing that, that we get caught up with is that... Um, sorry, I'm trying to race <laughs> and think at the same time. Live service, online, video game, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work for everything. It doesn't work for every genre of game. Um, it works better for certain games than it does for other games. But I just don't know. I'll, we'll have to see. Like, that's the thing. I want every game to be good. I don't want games to be bad. Um, I want games to be good. It's just there's a lot of, there's a lot in this, in that announcement that made me very nervous. Because <laughs> it seemed more like it was uh, like they were interested in building a platform to get money out of people than they were about like telling a telling a really uh, uh, like a, a good story. So, no, Bruce Bane, it's not set in the MCU, which is another thing where I'm like, well, I think I'd rather just play Ultimate Alliance if it's just you want to play a superhero game Turn than around. play some some kind of online service um, model thing. 
you know, again, I'm just not the biggest fan of, so. Uh, that's not to say, I mean, you know, again, there are certain types of games that I feel can work as a live service. It's just not every game can be a live service. Uh, drag Arrived racing. Your destination. This is not a drag racing car. I got like this Cooper Mini. Fine, I'll do it, though. I don't care. I need bricks. Oh, shit. I'm under it. 175 on 200. We're going to build that house. Um, yeah, I mean, I know that we're never going to actually get a tie-in video game for the MCU, especially now after Endgame. It would have been really nice to have had like a decent game studio or two making really good movie tie-in games because every one of those movies would have worked as a video game. So, uh, man, these low times. <laughs> Especially knowing that we're gonna lose. Okay, drag strip. Let's do it. Yeah, Alex, we gotta get that house built. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I wasn't just holding down the button. Oh fuck! Oh man, I'm in last place. Oh my god, they're all so much faster than me. I'm holding down the button. It's just you gotta go in one direction as fast as you can. <laughs> I hate everyone so shut up. Says, so what do you get if you build the Lego house completely? I don't know. Find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was really pitiful. Maybe a new car. Um, let's see. PS2 Bricks says, I know this is off topic, but I'm currently working my way through Spider-Man, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Spider-Man's a great game. Spider-Man's a wonderful game. Ooh, PR stunt. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, it's a very fun game. I'm not even the biggest Spider-Man fan, but, like, man, it's such a well-put-together game. Like, it's just so fun. Uh, oh, dude, I want to fly that airplane. Wait, where am I turning? Turn left. Where? Okay. Okay. I don't understand you, GPS. You don't get me. Press while turning, tuning to E-Drift. E-Drifting! It's not like when you drift online. It's like when you're looking at Wikipedia and then you end up looking at like, you were just searching for facts about bacon and then you end up uh, reading about, you know, uh, the Alexander the Great's horse sex, horse's sex life. Where's this stunt thing? You have arrived at your Is this it? Drift zone. Oh, okay. I don't understand how that event works. Uh, let's see. We got all these things down here that we haven't done yet. Was there some races? All we need is not ten more bricks. Five more bricks. I can't even. Uh, I'm so so addled. Turn left. You turn left. Look at my boss. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. True Mowgli says, work through uh, Witcher 3 and that the gameplay is a bit rough. Night Amber says, shut up, says, better than Witcher 1. It's about everything's better than Witcher 1, at least from what, I, what I've heard. Wow, I'm not looking at the... Uh, what? Did that just say I'm at the top of my personal leaderboards? So none of my friends have bought this yet? Woo! Woohoo! Turn left. All right. Speed zone. Lighthouse scramble. Arrived at your destination. Is that when you when you eat eggs at a lighthouse? You eat eggs and and say, "Look out! There's rocks." Lighthouse scramble. That was a terrible. That was a terrible fucking joke. Uh. All right. Wow. The stream, the first hour kind of went by in a, a flash. I guess I'm kind of enjoying this game. <laughs> uh, I've been playing my Xbox a lot recently with uh, Void Bastards and Outer Wilds. I don't know. Just uh, there's been a lot of a lot of movement on that front. That Xbox Game Pass is really, uh, really kind of paying for itself. 
That's kind of why I want an X, even though Scarlet's coming out. Go already! We got to get that lighthouse scramble. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. Handling on these little rubber Lego tires is horrible. God damn it. Maybe I should try driving on the road, you guys. Uh. Son of a bitch. Need some different. I'd really need some different tires. Okay, we gotta concentrate on this. Get to be weaving back and forth like a crazy person. I mean, I could, and I have been. And it's generally. But God damn it! I can't skip checkpoints. Jeff, you gotta go through the little green flags. Nope. God damn it. All right, here we go. Try this again. Go through the little green flags. Here we go. No, you sack of dicks. Damn it. Big red, big bad timber. Quit fucking elbowing me out of the way of the things. Here, you go ahead. Okay. All right, fine. Fine, fuck off. All right. Ah, uh, man. Eight out of 12. I have to make up some of this fucking speed. You guys need to race Lego cars. Okay, come on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, Will. Oh, shit. I wish this had that, like, that little, like, uh, press the right stick and you can, like, car check them out of the way. Was that from the wheel man? Man, I am rewinding every four seconds. Dwayne Wright Johnson asks, who do I want to see in Ultimate Alliance 3? I don't care. Everybody? Nobody? X-Men? I mean, I'm sure that there's not a character I feel like that's going to be so obscure that it won't be in uh, in there. Warlock? Warlock? The X-Men Warlock? The crazy computer cartoon looking motherfucker? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, you know, now that I think about it, they probably won't have Warlock in there. Nobody knows who Warlock is anymore. I always like the way that the... Um, is that the way he was drawn? He had such a stylized... Uh, Jesus. Style that um, a lot of different people would draw him in different kind of wackadoo weirdo ways. Uh, here we go. Uh-huh. Man, I was, felt like I was starting to make some progress. And they all just went ahead without me. Get out of here. Damn it, cheese waffle. Urgh, jabba, 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 jabba. I don't know. Adam Warlock is kind of a tepid. I don't know. I, I read Adam Warlock in the Infinity Watch, I guess, for a little while, and it was like, eh, this is okay. Um, oh, 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 oh. Third place. Get out of my way, cow man. I got somebody else got to pay. Come on. Oh, damn it. Nope, that was bad. Bad, but even more bad. <laughs> Dwayne Rod Johnson is Sir Cheese Waffle, your, that, your drive guitar. Illegal swing! Uh, cowman, you get out of my way. You get out of my way, Cowman. Is that a play on Cowboy? I'm not a Cowboy, I'm a Cowman. I'm a man cow. Manatee. I'm a sea cow. Out of my way, you fucker! Alright. Still only. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Son of a crap. Just. I like the way that they got the the Lego noise whenever you run into anything. It's just like clackety 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 clack. It's a very, very um, soothing noise. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Where's the first place? Where the hell is the person that's in first place? Is there no rubber banding on this AI? Just keep them like they're just a million years away. Oh, God, they are a million years away. I can see them on the map. You know what? This name of this was called Lighthouse Scramble. I ain't seen a lighthouse yet. I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. Drift, drift, drift. Drift, drift, drift. Drift, drift, drift. Car. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. How many of you in the chat think you could drive like 
uh, like if your car had an Xbox controller attached to it instead of a steering wheel, like you sat in the driver's seat and then you drove your actual car uh, with an Xbox controller, do you think you could do it? I don't think I could, I don't think I could do it. Maybe like a road blasters situation, but I don't think I could just sit in a seat and then use the right stick to literally drive an actual car. I think I would probably die or just freak out and stop doing it. Uh, all right, there's the finish line. Everybody seems to be saying no. <laughs> Mowgli said, I'm a sea cow on a Lego horse I ride. That's good. I like that. Number two. God damn, look, he has like a full second in front of me. Boo. Stop your little, just stop your dancing. Stop your fucking celebrations. I've had this like big weird moon cheese monster as my avatar for a long time. Pick a new avatar for Xbox One. Spin emote. Okay. Is that an emote for my person or for my car? Hey, Thomas. Hey. Congratulations. You're ready to begin the first construction of your Lego house. Huzzah! Let's go get our house. Let's go get our house. Oh, does Shang Tsung come out tomorrow? Okay, Josie. That's great. Let's go build a house. Wow, it's nighttime. Wait, which one of these is... Um, no, let's rewind. Is there a first person mode in um for this car? Is there a button that'll put me in close the map? Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Poor network conditions. Well fuck that. I don't need to be online to play this. Do I? I'm dropping frames from the stream, am I? That would suck. <laughs> Yeah, trading paint. Just rubbing. Rubbing's racing. Choo -choo. Yards, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, shit. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Uh, is this my destination? Here we go. You have arrived at your destination. Woo! Build that house. Ash. Calling for Ash. Oh, Ash in uh, Mortal Kombat as a DLC character. Yeah. What about, I would rather have almost rather have Bubba Hotep or the uh, Elvis from Bubba Hotep. Yeah, my friend Pedro. Judgment is out next week. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. That's a crappy, kind of a crappy house. I kind of thought it would get built and not just dropped. Now you might be playing oh. with Lego, but this is a Horizon event after all. Okay. So every time you upgrade your house. We'll throw in some rewards for you. Cool. Bonus cubes. Bricks are unlocked. How amazing is this place? Ugh. Now, I was doing some work for Lego, and I found instructions for a full-scale Lego Ferrari F40. Oh. You want to be a speed champion? Yes. Get me some bricks. These 385 bricks to build your Lego Ferrari F40. Oh, shit, son. We got to do that. We got to... We got to... Man, we got to make a Lego Ferrari... Um, I've been playing around with this Lego tech myself. So I built these bonus cubes. And if you find a bonus cubes, them, it should give you a skills influence boost. Okay. Hey, only one way to find out. Wait, do I have more skills that I can add into this thing? I forgot all about that whole Oh no, I'm only level one. Hey Thomas. Here is where you'll see a top down view of your career at Horizon. Okay. Each tile Don't know. presents another way for you to make Kira. a name for yourself. Mm, shut up, shush. Zzz. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was looking for the... Is that the upgrade? Is that the upgrade? Anyway, let's go collect 385 Lego brick challenges so that we can get a Ferrari. Because that sounds like a good one. Um, all right, world map. Uh, yeah, the new... Uh, the what, Bloodstained is coming out next week on Tuesday. And Judgment is on Friday. Sonic... Or no, uh, not Sonic. Crash Team Racing comes out next week. My friend Pedro comes out next week. Um, lots of stuff. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Forzathon live. Drive to the area to take part. Entry closes in one minute. Oh, shit. We got to get going, guys. What? If there's any way that you guys think that we can make it there in one minute, you're crazy out of your mind. But I'm going to try. 
It's only two miles. Fuck your roads. That's what we're doing today. Going right, right as the crow flies. When it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I forgot about it too. I was just, just minding my own business. I was like, what's coming out next week after E3? I was like, oh, look, Bloodstained. Ba -ba boom. Beep, beep, bop, ba -doop. Uh, Dr. Von Boogie, I don't know. It might be disappointing. Uh, you, I don't know if you can count just the fact that there haven't been any reviews for it uh, as, like, evidence that it's going to be disappointing, though. Screw your roads! Could just be that they haven't, I don't know, haven't passed it out yet. Also, it was just E3 last week, so I feel like everybody's still in the middle of E3 fever. I mean, maybe. Are there any Metacritic uh, reviews yet for it? Uh, bup, bup, bup. Might have an embargo. I don't know. I'm holding out hope. I want it to be good. If it's bad, I'll stop playing it and play something else instead. There's plenty of video games. Plenty of video games, and I got the time. Well, no, I don't have any time, but there are a lot of video games. It would be nice if it was cool. If not, I can always go back and play, um, play uh, um, uh, like one of the GBA games. Uh, I played some of those on uh, for patrons. Woo! I did it. Which which? What do we got? What is the event? UFO crash site. View it. Wait. I don't, I'm in a time crunch. Stop loading and start racing. That's pretty cool. Though. Conspiracy theory that they recovered still pretty cool. Mini figures from this UFO crashed in the desert and like took them apart to study them, and it was fine. Because they could just put them back together again afterwards. Dr. Von Boogie doesn't always mean... Embargoes don't always mean the game is bad. Remember how hard they tried to control um, Shadow of Mordor? And then it ended up being really good. Like, they had all those weird rules that you had to sign. Um, and then it actually ended up being, like, a good game. Uh, it doesn't always mean that. Okay. I don't know what they expected me to do over here, but... Uh, a lot of times I feel like it's just to, I mean, you know, uh, think about how um, if you were running a PR company and you gave people review copies for Bloodstain, would you really want them posting their reviews in the middle? Would you rather have them posting their, their uh, reviews in the middle of E3 or like after E3? If I was a PR person, I'd probably tell them to wait till after E3. Of course, I don't apparently know anything about PR because everybody releases their games on the same day. Nobody stretches anything out. Nobody, you know, shows the, says the right things about their games. Shepard Tone, thank you for the uh, bits. Who's that person that's waving at me now? Ace Card says, when does the Game Boy slash SNES come out to the Switch? thing i guess you're asking when can we play game boy and SS snes games on the switch i don't know there was a rumor before it came out that you could do gamecube on it I'm still waiting for that uh you've lost several races now would you like to lower your driver tar difficulty to experience well fuck yes i would put it on easy <laughs> all right here we go Ooh boy well, you guys, they're all still winning, so... Or just... I guess it doesn't change, like, how fast their cars are. It just makes the... Uh, their drive a Makes them a little bit less, like, aggressive and shit. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I race like a jackass. I race like a jackass. Because I don't care about driving games. Uh-oh. 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 Neg Primer's here, everybody. Look out. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Got my checkpoint. Got my, I don't know what that thing is. I like challenge meters building up. There's so many systems in this game, I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Just racing. Put it on easy and racing. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope. I hate everyone so shut up says I'm hyped for Crystal Chronicles on my Switch. Um, I was, I was, okay. This is a legitimate question. I'm not trying to be a troll or anything. Was Crystal Chronicles a good game? 
Because I remember playing it on the GameCube, and I remember being really excited for it. And then I remember it coming out and playing it and kind of thinking that it sucked. That it was just like these very kind of like bland dungeons. You know, you create your own character, so there wasn't really like a main character, like a super heavy narrative. That's just what I remember, and I could be wrong. But, I mean, like, everybody at that Square event was so hyped whenever anything happened. Just like the minute that they said a word, everyone was like, yeah, fucking yeah. Like a whole crowd of white Lil Johns. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's always weird for me because I feel like a lot of people have a very, a lot of people on the internet have a very different relationship with Square Enix than I do. Like, Square Enix has been doing nothing but disappointing me releasing games that I'm not interested in and kind of fucking me in franchises that I like for like a few years now. So when they say anything, and like when we went back and looked at like what the Square Enix conference was, it was Final Fantasy VII Remake at the beginning, Avengers at the end, and then everything in between was like a remake or a remaster or a re-release or like DLC for Kingdom Hearts. Like it was all very niche-y. I had everyone so shut up, says Crystal Chronicles definitely focused more on multiplayer than single player. And that may be the, where I went wrong. Like maybe it was a really, really fun multiplayer game that if you play it single player, uh, it just sucks. Wow, okay. It asked me if I wanted to put Drivatar difficulty level down and now it's like i haven't seen the other racers in okay i guess they're back there they're just it's just hanging out here up front killing it killing it thrilling it oh shit ah i was trying to read the chat uh Alex says not as pathetic as the Bethesda crowd. They were cheering for Fallout 76. Yeah, I mean, pretty sure those were obviously employees. As a, somebody who's worked for, like, big tech companies who are kind of universally despised, I can tell you that you can always find people internally that are willing to just, like, cheer. You know, the people that work at Bethesda, nothing in common with the people who play Bethesda games. Sparks says, hi, everyone. What does the stream tell us about the adventures of Thomas Forza, Thomas Forza Jr.? It is Lego car. Good question. Very good question. Uh, I don't know. I think at the beginning, um, somebody suggested that it was uh, Thomas Forza got super high and that this is all just like a Thomas Forza induced hallucination. Um uh, all right, we got the Falcon Indie Circuit. Yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon. Falcon Circuit Roop Loop Racing. Roop Lacing. Scroop, scroopy Doopers. Okay, what's this one over here? Drag Race. Oh, I'm not any good at drag races. Uh, here, no, but let's do it anyway. Oh, I can't go through there. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go down here. Let's see what's what's going on over here. Uh, cross country race. Do it. We gotta get them. We gotta get them bits so we can build that Ferrari. Uh, what is Thomas Forza's drug of choice? I think when I was rambling at the very beginning of the stream, I said he was huffing barbecue sauce. Sounds to me. Oh, yeah. Dr. Fun Boogie says Thomas Forza Jr. is a biracial woman. The internet is not going to be happy about this casting. <laughs> it's true. You know, the, the older I get, not the older I get, the further into 2019 we get, the more I'm just like, I'm not looking at the internet today, you guys. I mean, I'm going to maybe watch somebody review, like, an anime. And I'm going to read my book. And I'm going to play Final Fantasy. I'm going to play a seven-year-old game, Final Fantasy 13 2. But... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything else. Whippets. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, the internet used to be like a little bit less, just kind of terrible all the time, though. Like now, it's just it's just twenty four seven, kind of. Bleh, bleh, just bleh. Oh, is there a thing? Oh, I don't like it. And I mean, I'm not immune to that. Like I spent. 
20 minutes on the podcast, the Square Enix E3 podcast, talking about how I'm not a big fan of that Final Fantasy VII remake. Um, but I don't know, man. Sometimes it's just too much. I just want to like watch the sunrise, pet my dog, read a book, <laughs> play a Lego game, <laughs> have joy in my life. You know, I know that you can't just live in a blissed out state all live long day, but goddamn, you can't just live just hunkered down into Shitsville, USA. Mm, 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 mm. Awesome clean racing. I'm an awesome cleanest racer. Thomas Porter. 55%. Oh, this is a cross country marathon. Blast on it. Oh, wow. Yeba. Dwayne, I don't know. I've been waiting for Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 16 to be announced for several years now, I guess. Two years. And I know that this is Square Enix, and I'll be waiting a whole hell of a lot longer. But, like, I'm super tired of... Well, I'm not because I don't play them. But I'm super... I like Square Enix, and I like Final Fantasy. And I'm kind of super tired of everything that gets released being a Nomura game. Because Final Fantasy 15 was a Nomura game. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a Nomura game. Final Fantasy VII Remakes being made by Nomura, and I'm not I'm not necessarily going to sit here and say that real-time combat is my favorite thing in the world, but, like, I'm just kind of sick of him being the one who makes every single freaking game, like, um, and I kind of wish that we could just announce another thing that's not an MMO, and it's not a real-time Kingdom Hearts game, and I could just play that. Um, but as John pointed out, when we did our podcast... Like, this is only the first part of that Final Fantasy VII game. So it's going to come out next year, and then we're going to wait for another, what, three years to get the second part? Like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. Um, Square also, you know, fucked up Hitman and then let IO Studios loose. So, you know, they can kind of suck it as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, man, I was so far ahead. Okay, when we jacked down the Drive Atar difficulty, it really, you know, they said, do you want to lower the Drive Atar difficulty? And I'm like, sure. I kind of wish they had lowered it a little bit instead of, like, all the way. <laughs> it's all right, though. We're just trying to get Legos. Um... Uh, Yeah. Ace Cards says, what about Bravely Default? Uh, I'll tell you the same thing I say about all this stuff all the time. And that is that um, I uh, I have absolutely, positively no problem with Bravely Default, uh, but I'd rather play my games on a console that I can sit on my couch instead of a handheld. If they put Bravely Default on the Switch, I would love that. I would love to play Bravely Default on the Switch. 110%. I'd buy the shit out of that. I'd buy both of them individually. I'd pay, probably pay $60 for each one of them. What is this? What is this thing they want me to do? Uh, Bravely Default's good, but I don't want to play it on a handheld. It's kind of what I'm really excited about. Um... Uh-huh. Wait, what, what, what flares? Where are the, these flares that they're talking about? I don't know where the flares are, you guys. Is that the trailblazer finish right there? Is that where I need to go? I feel like I'm doing this event completely wrong. In any case, um, yeah, I, I, I like my RPGs. I like RPGs. I'd rather have AAA, very nice graphics, especially with Square. I think the graphics are very nice. RPGs. Um, uh, that was a speed wrap. Sorry. Little joint project between myself and the Lego team. Does exactly uh, uh, okay. Do. I guess I succeeded or I failed or something. Anyway, that's um, that that's that's what I feel about it. Like, I don't want people to, I mean, uh, get all mad, and I don't want to tell people that like the the their game is bad. Like Final Fantasy VII, I don't think the remake is going to be bad. I just I'm not, um, I'm not a big fan. And Doctor Von Boogie, I know that uh, I, I'm 
You and I have been having this conversation, and I know that I'm being real picky about it. I don't like Dragon Quest. So, I mean, it's just a little bit too cutesy fruitsy for me. I'm not a big, huge, big, huge fan of it. So, um, and I'm not saying that you can't have Kingdom Hearts. I'm not saying that there shouldn't be a Final Fantasy VII remake or any of this stuff. I just, it's not my kind of game, so I'm not going to be getting excited about it. Like, I was reading a thing yesterday that apparently that video game donkey guy, like, was like, oh, I'm not super looking forward to Final Fantasy VII Remake, or had some, some criticism of it, and that his bunch so of people were all mad at him on the internet. I'm like, all right. Um, okay, Josie said that they got Detroit Human. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but I liked Detroit Human, uh, Detroit Become Human an awful lot. I thought it was really, really fun. I had everyone so shut up. I have played uh, The World Ends With You. It got really difficult with the um, the two screen thing. Like it was like what you controlled the one guy on the top screen and then the D and then the stylus on the bottom on the DS version. I think I bought the Switch re-release, but I didn't actually ever get around to playing it. Like I bought it because I was definitely wanted to play it, and then it just kind of was in the middle of a bunch of games where there was more high profile stuff to play than it. So. Uh, how many more bricks do I need for my... I think I need a lot. I think I need a lot more bricks for my Ferrari. All right, here we go! That's all right. We've been uh, kicking butts and making nuts. Holding nuts. Kicking butts and... Uh, and cracking nuts. Leon Kennedy and, and Igzy, you get out of my way! Coming for that waffle, that cheese waffle. Cheesy, cheesy waffle. Cheesy, cheesy waffle. I don't believe that they have a radio station in this game that just plays nothing but everything is awesome on repeat. That's pretty ingenious. Um. Oh. 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 Um. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you guys are going to hear me struggle a lot this year on the E3 podcast, and a lot of it is because there just weren't that many like really big jaw-dropping mic drop moments at E3, and I'm trying not to just do uh, eight hours of podcast where I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, like, there's stuff that I'm excited about, but there's just a little like cherries on the tree that I'm more excited about than a lot of the like sequels remakes remasters re-releases the you know the watchdogs watchdogs legion looks really cool that's probably the sequel that looks the most interesting to me this year and everything else is original stuff like ghostwire tokyo and uh death loop and uh, i actually kind of think that star wars game looks really good um uh oh uh oh wait i had everyone so shut up sorry says please stop razzing mike about playing revengeance it's just too funny stop wait yeah i mean cyberpunk the the as we talked about like cyberpunk i knew that cyber i know cyberpunk is coming out i'm already excited for cyberpunk like you can't make me more excited for cyberpunk um i'm already as excited as i'm gonna get to play that game so uh Astral Chain, Ace of Card, that's a that's a good one, you know. There's some stuff from Nintendo, the Fire Emblem game. Um, there was a lot of just kind of like chaff, though, I feel like this year. Uh, even though we got a release date for Cyberpunk, I mean, we knew that game was coming out. We know what that game is. Like, there wasn't exactly, like, blast your socks off type of thing. Sorry, I'm also trying to keep a, an eye on the chat here. And, uh, yeah, I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson said basically low key because next year we're going to be getting new consoles and i think that's where it is but you know nobody wants to listen to a podcast where i'm just like okay then they showed then they showed this game and it was fine and then they showed this game and it was fine and then they showed this other game and i don't know i guess i'll play it it looks fine so i kind of struggled a little bit this year on our podcasts um that and the fact that sony wasn't there and the fact that ea was kind of there but not really 
and like Ubisoft, just mostly military shooting games. Like most of what they showed was military shooting games. Oh, oh, I had everyone so shut up and said making fun of Mike's skills in Revenge. It's hilarious. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think we've been having a really good time playing Metal Gear Revengeance on the Patreon for patrons uh, full playthrough. We did. We just got done with part three. We just hit the the boss of the first level after the tutorial. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing that game, and a lot of it is just I think coming at it, being a little bit older, coming at it with fresh eyes. Um, when it originally came out, I think I just judged it because I was like, Kojima can do no wrong. The stories of Metal Gear are amazing. I don't know. It's just too much of a shock. It's too different for me. So all those forward-thinking people that kept saying, nah, it's fine. You guys were right. You guys were right. It is fine. Freaking redonkulous. You get to chop up ninjas and take out their spines. Alright. Alright. That was a long ass race. Whee! Well, that's what broken. He says I'm excited about the new FIFA. I didn't even watch. I didn't even. I'm sorry. I didn't even watch the presentation. I decided that um, I. Like in years past, we pretend to talk about the sports stuff, and this year I decided to just not pretend. <laughs> All right, five thirty, you guys. Wow, it's just flying by. Thought everybody's having fun. Uh, or I don't know. It seems like the folks that are here are having fun. Join my John says, "Tell Mike that free cutting is not as strong as a basic I combo." Drive me up the wall. The okay. Head home if you want to practice or try new ones. No, I'm I'm playing Legos, Kira. God damn, I'm playing Legos, Kira. Can I see? Okay, I don't care about your 1985 Ford. Where's my Lego list? There we go. 175 more bricks to get the Lego Ferrari F40. Oof. I've got to keep this shit going up. PR. I don't know how these PR stunts work. Let's get some more races. races. Uh, Lighthouse Scramble. Oh, we've done that one. South Valley Speed Zone. Oh, okay. I see now. I see how this works. Stunt Park Pass Drift Zone. Overlook. I can get some races. Um... Sure, let's do that. I hate everyone so shut up. We got the house, man. We built the house. When it is safe to do so. We built the house. We, we and now we're just doing the um, we're doing challenges to get the Ferrari, the Ferrari. I think there's only three cars in here. I think it's just the McLaren and the Cooper and the Ferrari. Um, team seems to like it though when I just smash stuff. This is a lot more fun than I thought. I mean, not that I didn't think it was going to be fun, but like, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Forts is fun. I just, uh, whenever I play it, I like it. I just never. Um... Ah, all right. We got five, five bits, five things. Got 155 more bricks. Are there races that we haven't done yet? Ooh, what about this one? Okay. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Can I zip zap zoop somewhere? Let's see. Oh, I haven't. I didn't do that one in first place. There's another speed camera. All right, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just drive. Woo! Uh. Oh, I got 15. Uh oh boy, uh oh. I'm in the top 100% of my leaderboard. Yeah, what's up now, leaders? Gotta make a left hand turn. Oh, drift, drift. Okay, that wasn't really very good drifting. In the speed zone, man. Shit, how fast can I go? 
your destination. Did I? Oh, fuck. Oh, you confused me, GPS lady. You said I arrived, but then the thing kept going. Oh, lady. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. I missed the... Can I... Can I... I like that big jump. I like that big ramp. I like the way they put it in the middle of the town, so you just be like, yeah, big ramp time! Right in the middle of a field! Oop, that, up, fucking soccer field. I'm driving through it. Wee! Waha! Uh oh, that's a big fence. Okay, all right, okay, here we go. Now, everything is under control, you guys. Ultimate wreckage. We got to our destination pretty quick. And three field circuit. Sure, let's do it. Do it! Oh. Wait, hold on. Choose a different car for this event. Oh, okay, it's still just the, the cars that I have. What is this one? This is an S1 car. This is a super high... I bet... Um, I bet you can race this car in regular Forza races. I wonder if you. I wonder how the McLaren. Uh, once you get the McLaren, I wonder how it compares to the actual McLaren in the game. Not that I'm going to play long enough to find out, but. Nice. Hey, I got 30 more minutes. I gotta go. Gotta go. Cut chores. Got a Patreon video. Gotta get tomorrow's video ready to go. Gotta get that podcast up. Huh. Miles to go before I sleep. What do I think doc about Dr. Sleep, the Shining sequel? I don't know anything about it, Bruce Bain. I think I may have seen something on YouTube, like there was a trailer for a thing or something, but I don't really know what that is. Was it a book? Did Stephen King write it? Does The Shining need a sequel? Is it the ghost of Stanley Kubrick directing it? Like, I seems like a cash-grabby idea to me. But then again, what the things we do for cash, um, I, I beg people on the internet for it. So, you know, who am I to judge? I say, hit the like and subscribe button and ring that bell. Go ahead and put them bits in. Uh, Michael and I are going to record a second Patreon video with all the stuff. I just kind of lost the plot this week. Um, I don't know what we're going to play yet. I've got like two or three things, but I'm not going to reveal my sources. We already played our MGS uh, video for the week, but I think we might do... Um, there's a couple There's a couple of games. There's a couple of things. A couple things from E3. A couple things not from E3. Let's we'll see. Doctor Sleep was written in 2009 by Stephen King. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I've read The Shining. I, you know... Uh, Stephen King. I haven't read a Stephen King book in a long time. There aren't any spaceships in it, and I really only read books with spaceships in them, or that take place in space, or in the future where it, we might go to space. Who can say? I feel like I've already done this one. I've already done this one. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I accidentally put it on the Everything is Awesome song. You know, that's another thing. I don't, I really would like to know how that song got made. Like, Tegan and Sarah, I listened to Tegan and Sarah before this, and I would not have pegged them for making a song like this. And then with Lonely Island, like, it just seems like the weirdest team up of all time. Dr. Buggy says, have you read any uh, of George R. R. Martin's sci-fi books? Which books are you talking about? Um, did he write sci-fi books back in the old days? Or are you talking about the like the Expanse stuff that his assistants wrote? Uh, the answer is, if you're talking about the Expanse, yes. If the answer is anything else, probably no. Uh, I really didn't know if he'd written anything... Did he write stuff that wasn't Game of Thrones? Or whatever, Song of Ice and Fire?
Yeah, I, uh, Lost But Broken says, um, oh, shit. They got T-Pain to do a, a song. Lonely Island got T-Pain to do a song, so Money Talks in him. I know, it's weird. It's just that, like, the impression that I get from Tegan and Sarah as people, I don't know. Maybe they just know each other. <laughs> Maybe, like, they went to college together or something like that. It's just, it's a weird, it's a weird fit, right? It'd be like if Celine Dion and Weird Al made a song. And you'd be like, wait, what? I mean, I guess I'm now comparing Tegan and Sarah to uh, Celine Dion, but it just, it seems like a very weird team up. It doesn't seem like the sort of thing that I ever would have thought of in a million years. Tegan and Sarah and Lonely Island. Because Tegan and Sarah's music is, I feel like, a lot less electronic than this. Or maybe I'm still just thinking of their first album. Uh, I had everyone so shut up. I have not watched Captain Harlock. Uh, I know of it. I haven't watched it. Right now, I'm mostly just focusing on uh, One Punch Man and uh, Attack on Titan while I wait for Academia to come back on. This video is going to be demonetized. <laughs> Wee! And the finish! Oh, okay. LK Josie says, I'm thinking of their first album. They got more synth as music went on, and it's good either way. Yeah, I, I remember uh, the, I listened to their first album a lot. It's more like indie rock. And then I think I listened to their second album, but I don't really remember it quite as much. It's kind of a time when a little bit of the stuff that I was listening to all started blurring together a little bit. Battleship, the remake of Space Battleship Yamato, uh, says Dwayne the Right Johnson. Says I should check that out. Yeah, maybe. Um, Dr. Von Boogie, I'll take a look at George R.R. R. Martin's science fiction catalog. I'm currently working my way back through the Honor Harrington series that I keep talking about. And then I think I'm going to start reading all the spinoff books because there's like eight or nine of them. And I would like to see them. But um, um, Okay, how much do we have left for the... What do we need for the... Uh, wait, do we get it? No, that's a different Lamborghini. We need 95 bricks to get the Lamborghini. This is just like, this is a bullshit Lamborghini. Ugh. Get out of here. You take your Lamborghini out of here. We got we to gotta get 95 bricks. I need bricks, y'all. Um, let's see what, what, get some challenges. Here's 30 bricks. While driving the Iron Knight performed 20 near misses. Oh, that sounds like a... I still haven't found... Find the city center in the middle of Brickchester. What about some of these down here? Earn two stars at the Stunt Park Overlook Danger Sign. Earn three stars at the Little Brickworth Speed Zone. That's 40 bricks! Let's do that! Let's do it! Uh, <laughs> which heroes would you work under? Midnight or Mount Lady? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm older. Midnight's a little older. I feel like we could get along. We could get along pretty well. That lady's a little bit newer. You know, she's, uh, she's a little brash. Wait, what is with this thing? What is with this? Where's the speed zone they're talking about? I feel like there's like a little yeah, pulsing know. thing on my radar. So. Uh, wait. This says it's got 40. Wait, what? What, what, what about, what? Uh, uh, spin the wheel. Why am I spinning the wheel? I don't understand. Okay, I don't need brain boots. I need oh, Legos. Yeah, look sharp in those. No, you get out of here. Fuck off. Like, Fuck off, Forza. I'm trying to like. get the get the Lego bricks. Yeah, I don't give a shit. It's fine, it's fine. Um Okay, how do I get to Wait, do I not, did I not do this? Oh, I didn't do this event yet. Complete the race. Plastic flower circuit. Okay, let's try it. Uh, all right. Plastic flowers event. Solo. Solo cup. Gotta get this. We gotta get this Lamborghini, man. We get this freaking Lego Lamborghini. Uh 
awesome. I hate everyone says every, everything is not awesome when you don't get 40 Lego breaks. <laughs> That's true. Oh, wait, I've been listening to everything is awesome on repeat again. I'm sorry. That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> it just starts over. That's all that's on this one channel. It's just everything is awesome on repeat. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, NBC, uh, 19, uh, NMBC 1993. I'm going to be listening to the everything is awesome for the entire rest of the day. Rest of the day. Ah. All right. We got to stop. Nope. Nope. Just turn the radio to a different channel. Damn it. No, here. Go back. Oh, shit. Go back. I said. I was listening. To, I was trying to change my radio. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, God. Whatever that is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm in last place because I missed a checkpoint and uh, I'm boned, except for the fact that the AI in this, the Drivatars, all got set to stupid. Everyone is stupid. Uh, so I should be able to win still. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Passing on the outside. Passing on the inside. Get out of my way, Leon Kennedy. Take your drive guitar somewhere else, why don't you? Whoa, side swipe. He's my favorite Decepticon. Uh, oh, come on, get out of here. Get out of my way, get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Noises. This counts as as. Uh, here we go. Okay, okay, yeah. Do have to slow down a little bit more. Do have to slow down a little bit more. Doop doop doop. There we go. All right. Drift drift drift. Okay. I don't know how many bits we're going to get out of this, or uh, pieces, or whatever they're calling them in this one. You know, bits in the Lego games, but that's because they're the little ones. Little bits? Little bits. It's tiny food for your tiny mouth. Um. All right. I want that Lego Ferrari so bad, you guys. Just one, just one more car and then we could be done with the stream and you know what i didn't even get jebediah kerman killed this week so uh you know how good of a stream can it be when jebediah kerman is living all fat and happy <laughs> we're gonna have to stop now play more kerbal space program no that's not true it's fine Wee -hoo. All right. Ultimate clean racing. God, a whole other lap, huh? We're not even to the third lap yet. All right. God, where the hell is the end point of this race? Oh, there it is. Lap three. I feel like I've gotten to the point now where everybody is so far behind me that I can just, I don't even have to do, I can just fuck up all day. It's like great drifting, clean racing, good living. Nobody's going to catch me. There we go. Speed. I just got 100 points for speed okay what about speed 2 cruise control get out of here lego guys i've never been to like a street race or like a not a street race but like a i know we have like an f1 track or whatever here in austin uh, but man that's it's like way out in the middle of nowhere cost money you gotta go sit in the sun I don't know. Seems like a whole production. I, mean, I feel like I could just sit here and play Forza in my underpants. I guess if I went outside, you know, I might talk to other people. That's pretty important. It's having a conversation, not just sitting around by yourself playing Forza. Uh, 
Yow! Goddamn. Second place is still racing. So far behind me. It's fine. Yeah, it was. That's right, y'all. Did it. I did it. What's up? This is such a weird thing where they make your character, like, look at all the rewards that you get. Like, it's coming up on these big screens. In the Matrix. Are you, Am I in the Matrix? Uh, okay. What are we, what are we at? We got 20. Okay. How many more do we need? 35. Oh, we could totally get 35. Uh, are there some more races that we can do? What's that? Wait, where's that? Um, where's that speed trap? Why is it? Okay. Is the pulse? Is that where I am? That's where I am. Okay. Um, I said I wanted to do the downtown Bricksburg speed trap. Wait, no. Okay, okay. Let's let's actually play a video game here. Uh, we need 35 pieces. We get 40 pieces by earning three stars at the Little Brickworth Speed Zone. Okay, so we're looking for the Little Brickworth Speed Zone. This is Little Brickworth Speed Zone. We need to be going 140 miles per hour in order to earn three stars. Okay, let's do it. If we can get this one thing, then we get the Ferrari. We get the Ferrari. Then we make the money, and then we get the get to, uh, everything was coming into place. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, tell me I already did you did you just give me what I need for the thing? No, okay. So I still need them. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Close the. Oh shit. I sent the wrong button. Uh, Dwayne the Rockjaw says, the world. watch out for fireballs, guys. Talk about Frankenstein, that shitty modified Mustang. I don't think I have. You know what, though? Uh, I haven't... So, I've been kind of selfish. I keep meaning to become a patron of those guys because I really want to listen to most of the episodes and they know that they're doing watch out for fireballs or they're doing bump fireside chat for Sekiro. Um, but I was really happy when I listened to their Generalities episode to hear that they both really liked um, uh, 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 Hitman so much. They played the Hitman 2016. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to need a, a fairly... I'm going to just go to, like, how far back is this a straight road? Okay, not very far back. All right. So, uh, gradual thing. Okay. Let's try it this way. You need to do 140 miles an hour, you guys. Let's see how fast we can get. Here we go. Here we go. 90. Yep. Yeah. 120. Oh, I think we're hitting the top speed. Oh, we only got 132. I think that should still be enough to... Did we... Oh, wait. Is it a speed zone? So... You have arrived at your destination. Oh. Damn it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. <coughs> Hold on. Uh, let's try that again. I think we can do that better better than that. So we have to go through here. And then we go up to 140 miles per hour. Oh. Uh, okay. I didn't know how that one worked. So, all right. Let's... Um, Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, shut up, Gladys. I know. All right. Here we go. Just going to try this again. I feel like I didn't get nearly as many bricks as... Okay, so we're looking to get to, to 140. Oh, no. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, uh, that's all right. I mean, I feel like if I... I like those guys enough that if I... I want to be a patron of theirs, I just haven't really gotten around to it yet. Wait, did I not get into the speed zone? What the hell is my speed zone thing? I just got at 140 miles per hour. Damn it. Ah, you motherfuckers. All right, you know what? Um, how, what do we got left? 30? 20? 30. Uh, let's, do, let's do another race. 
beep, 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 How about this one? Bruce Bane, I never finished Sekiro either, so don't feel too bad about it. Um, I just got to the point where that last guy was, he was, uh, just wasn't having any fun. You know, that's the, that's the whole thing about difficulty. And one of the things that I feel like, um, that, uh, people don't, that never came into that debate was just like, well, what if I had fun all the way up until the unreasonably hard last boss? And then I, it was so hard that I gave up. Like, is that what Miyazaki wanted me to do? Was give up because I'm not enough of a hardcore gamer to finish Sekiro, to get frustrated and stop having any amount of fun in the game, and then like just give up? Is that was that his artistic intention? Because if it was, then he succeeded. Um, <sighs> yeah, anyway. All right, I think this should be the last race, then we should be able to get that Ferrari. And it'll be just in time for us to be done with the stream. So thanks to everybody who came out and is watching. One more race. You know, I feel like I should have kept the AI on medium. <laughs> Once I turn the AI down, it's just it's, it's been a cakewalk the entire time. Run, nun, 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 nun. Oh, you're winning easily. Tougher drive guitars want to challenge you. Would you like to raise the difficulty? Yes. Upload the new drive guitars. Woo! Get the drive guitars in. Go, Mr. Johnny Pants. Cheesy waffles. Oh wait, did I? Did I just? Oh <laughs> yeah, like, do you want to download drive guitars? And I'm like, yes. And then they all just pass me immediately, and I'm in eighth out of twelve. Like. Is there a drive guitar difficulty level that's between like fuck your mother and uh, like these guys don't know how to drive a car? Is there something that exists between those two difficulties? Because that's where I'd like to race, please. I guess um, the fact that they all ran ahead of me means that I get to have some drama by passing them instead of just getting out in front of all of them and then staying out in front of all of them for the entire rest of the race. Um, ooh, look at me. I'm coming for you, Grim Reaper. I don't fear the Reaper. Uh, okay, maybe the Reaper has a much better car than I do. And there's no amount of acceleration that I'll be able to do to catch the Reaper. So it's possible, but I still don't fear you. I think you're kind of a cheating dick. But, you know, I don't really fear you very much, Morty. Uh, <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, shit. You know, driving line, you're just a suggestion. You don't have to be so emphatic. Ultimate clean racing. I'm a clean racer. I wash my hands after I go to the bathroom. Uh, uh. 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 It is harder to read the chat, though, because I've got to keep my eye on the road. Well, that was just bad. <sighs> Dwayne the Rock Chat says, you know, it's more fun than Sekiro, Divinity Original Sin 2. Divinity Original Sin 2 is pretty freaking great. Um, I, uh, I think the first one kind of made me snooze a little bit on it, but uh, when I finally got around to playing it, I never finished it, but what I played of it was real fun. That first island was real, real, real fun. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, I did it. Oh, it was only one up. Cool. Okay. All right. Come on. Give me them. Give me them Lego pieces. <laughs> give me them Lego pieces. Come on. I want that Ferrari. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I think it's finished. I mean, I followed the instructions. It sure looks like an F40. Come down here and pick it up. See for yourself. Okay. 
Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Turn around when it is okay, Josie asked, have I ever had kefir? It's a fermented milk drink. Kefir? Um, <laughs> Gaming Nightly, uh, I have not, LK Josie. I'm, I I don't know what that is. Um, fermented milk drink, huh? Does, doesn't really sound like the my cup of tea, but hey, you know what? Gaming Nightly also says, speaking of difficulty, this game seems to adjust difficulty fine. Um, you're true. Ooh! Well, I got a few more bits. Also, we should be upgrading our house. Oh, you know what? Fuck your park. I don't give a shit. You know what? Everything is awesome. It's time for some awesomeness. Where's my thing? Oop, shit. Whoa. Oh, okay. I've only ever seen this as like a racing section. Recalculating route. Don't bother. I'm taking my own making my own road. Turn around when it is safe to do so. What's the Rage Select email address? Mail at RageSelect.com! Send in all your questions. Where's my... There we go. Uh, dark, drinkable tart yogurt. You know what? I think I've had something kind of like that. That I wasn't like... It wasn't my favorite thing in the world. I'm not a big fan of the creamy... Creaminess. Um, in my drinks. I'm more of a fruit juice. Slash kind of bitter drinks guy. Uh, iced tea is really my jam. I see with some lemon in it. Okay. Master Builder House. Watcha. All right. Let's get this car. Everything is awesome. Oh. Oh, look at that Lego Ferrari. Woo. See, it's got a little Ferrari badge and everything. <clears throat> Sorry. Time in your little hymen. Diamond, your little. Mules. Oh, wait. Can I like adjust it and stuff? What does it do? Oh shit! Customization. Wait, what's the difference between the two of them? Oh, front bumper. Oh, this is like. Okay. All right. How about the hood? What a what a Lego speed hood. Does that make it go faster? Like just put every all the faster parts on. Uh, can t install setup. So here's how much it'll cost. Look good. Wait, no, cancel. I just um back. Abandon setup. That made it worse. So this one you can actually go in and like tune up, tune up all your tuners, tune your tutors. <coughs> all right, fine. You know what? We don't have time for this. Um. Nice. All right, uh, 355 bricks to build a garage. Okay, what is this thing? The Lego Ferrari Speed Champion Road Race Series. Let's do it. Hey, Thomas. I asked the Horizon Tech team to update Anna. Anna can now pin brick challenges for you. Oh, cool. Thank you. In 200 yards, turn right. Oh, it's a lot faster. The Ferrari is faster than the Cooper Mini guys. I don't know if you know this, but the the Lego Ferrari is faster than the Lego Mini Cooper. Wee! Right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Destination. You've reached your destination. Totally demonetized. <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh, do I have to race the Lego version versus the real world version? That's kind of fun. Is that what's going on here? Lego Ferrari Speed Champions race. Oh, yeah, I do have to race the little Lego version against the... Uh... Okay. Okay, here we go. Folder riser. I'm going to draft a little bit on you this time. Ooh, see, I know a little bit about racing. Uh, <laughs> I say as I almost go headfirst into a wall. Uh, okay, 
All right, we, we can't slow down anymore. All right, that's all right. That's all right. I'll crash into everybody and fuck up all their shit. I'm not into racing for reals. I'm into racing. Bad racing. I'm a dirty racer. Thomas Forza reigns us dirty. Awesome. All right. Well, um, we, we got a, uh, this is a progression race, and I feel like we're getting through it pretty well. Uh, when this is done, we'll finish up the stream. Uh, somebody mentioned in there, and I'm sorry I can't take my face away from this because I have to, like, pay attention to racing and shit, uh, that the stream went by really fast. I feel like it did. This was a really fun one. Uh, if you have Forza uh, Horizon 4 or, or Game Pass, this is 15 bucks. Um, I kind of feel like as I just, hey, I'm going to have some fun and race some Legos, totally worth 15 bucks. Or at least, I don't know. I never would have thought. I always have a hard time with racing games, and yet today I feel like we had a lot of fun. Just me and you, the chat, and uh, some racing games. So, I don't know. Maybe says a little something about Horizon. Um, if anybody has uh, just stumbled on here, I mean, you know, we got a full-on website, RageLight.com. We do daily Let's Plays. Uh, I'm getting ready to put up the first of our series of E3 2019 podcasts where my co-host John and I discuss EA and Microsoft, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, you know, I'll let you decide which is which. Um, so that'll be up on Rage Select or on YouTube.com forward slash Rage Select. Um, also, I'm pretty sure everybody here knows, but uh, we have Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Rage Select. If you want to help out, I mean, we were talking earlier about Metal Gear Rising. My friend Michael and I are playing all the way through Metal Gear Rising together. Uh, we got two parts up, but we got the third part coming up tomorrow. Emails go out every Monday. Blah, 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 blah. Ring the bring the bell. Ring the bell. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. You know what? I totally bet I could get 140 miles per hour in that speed trap with this car. I like all the little Lego challenges. I like those. Something to do besides just straight up racing. Also, I am smoking the real world Ferrari. Go to hell, real world Ferrari. I'll take Lego Ferrari all day, every day. 182 miles per hour. Mm, 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 mm. Now he's three seconds behind me. What a what a jerk! Are you serious? I mean, I knew these speed champions were a nifty bit of Lego building, but I never yeah, I hey, did it. I did it. Ahead and keep the real Ferrari. You um. It. All right. Oh, and I got the Ferrari Ferrari F forty C. Huh. So you get a bunch of stuff for for Horizon. Um. Forza Horizon. I almost said Horizon Zero Dawn. I almost said Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, okay. We're going to try that speed trap one more time because I got one minute left this to kill. Boy, Scotty Tyler right here on Radio Awesome. Scotty Tyler, huh? Can you add some more songs, Scotty Tyler? Uh, where's that speed trap? This is it. Ba -bow. Oh. All right. Yeah, do it. Go. Power. Work it. Let's play this Ferrari briefly. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> you know, if there was a radio station in Austin that just played Everything is Awesome on repeat, I, I might listen to it. Actually, I don't have radio in my car. I guess I could just go to Spotify and put it on a repeat on my phone and just listen to it that way. Man, this guy's a sporty. Kind of wish they'd. Oh, well, no, you know what? I was gonna say I kind of wish they'd let me start with this, but like, uh, this car works a lot better than the the beginning one. So, making me go with that um, the uh, that one to begin with really makes a difference. We can go with this Ferrari. Oh, I want to do that jump, but we're not gonna do it. We're gonna beat the speed trap. Shush. I know where I'm going. Gonna run over some cows. What's up, cows? Okay. <clears throat> Speed trap time. Let's try this. I think this is how you do it. Okay. The speed zone. Ooh, got 140. What? 
Oh, I have to go all the way through it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wait, can I back it up? How far can I back it up? Keep backing up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We'll drift. We'll drift. And drift. And drift. And drift. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 140. Come on. 140. You got to do. Ah, uh, I got 120. All right. Oh, well. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining us in the crazy chaotic mayhem that is Lego Speed Force, Speed Force, and Speeds. You got Speedy Legos, City Pizza. See you next week with another uh, Sunday stream. Bye.